chance to get a shot at Wadi. Come through on winner's side. Lose the final. ZD and Seal Gel of in control. And Wadi also in control with his friends. In control top three. And they're living up to their name. Now, Seagull Joe all day today, it looks like he's playing really relaxed and he's just willing to capitalize a lot more on ZD. And that's kind of like the big X factor um, as to why he took that first set earlier. His edge guards right now were real and it looks like I'm going to be joined on the mic by the Tantalus himself. How's it going? Sorry to jump in mid-match, J-Dog. I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job as you always do here at Xanadu. Just like Seagull Joe and ZD doing their normal fantastic job. Now, uh, you, I'm sure you already made mention that that was the first time Joe beat ZD in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think he can do it again? Um, the way he's played today, I can actually see it. ZD, like, he can always make those adjustments and it's something to keep in mind the best of five. But I feel like this will be a very, very close set and, like, either player could take it. Absolutely. And right now, Siegel is... is oh, nice. Oh, he's not not going to lose his stock just yet. That was a really nice set of ZD. It was worth going for. Oh, my God. ZD had... All right, so normally ZD gets those on reaction, but that was a call out. That was like, I know you're going to spin dash into me. Siegel even ending up with a bear. Yeah, I will say before, like, you're going to see that a lot, the I play you a lot roots. Yeah. Because, like, these two always practicing together. And they know each other's, like, habits for better or worse, and now we're just going to see some wild stuff. Like, you know, five or six rolls in a row, up smashes, center stage. It's just kind of what happened in a typical Joe ZD set. Well, I mean, you have to. You have to do something r almost ridiculous to change it up. Like, playing, like, safe and normal isn't going to work when you're so familiar with your opponent. Like, if you if you normally, like, double roll, you might triple roll. You might quadruple roll just to surprise them. You might roll until they stop you. You got to do what you got to do. Seagull is doing really nice right now. Ooh. Tried to cover off with the up smash, but, yeah, not quite landing it today. Now let's see what ZD can do, because Fox on the ledge, one of the scariest scares in the game. That fourth throw is going to set up for a little bit. What's the mix up again? You know, you know that's actually one of the scariest things. ZD just stands and facing, uh, facing away from Seagull on the ledge with shield. What do you do? I hate it when he does that. What I do, you just, do I get shook. It's what do, so what do you hard do? to get around that. Yeah, there's not much you can do. you got to keep mixing it up and just kind of pray that ZD doesn't read you right there. Because ZD's reaction time is so good. Up smash not going to do it there. So you, you, he can up tilt you on reaction. So then what do you do? Yep. If you, if you try to like Tomahawk grab or something, back here is going to get the job done. ZD up 1-0. That was some good stuff that, right there from ZD. It was a really close game, but then the moment that Joe touched the ledge, like, that last stop, he wasn't able to get control back mm -hmm. at all. And stage control is so, such important. So, so important, sorry. It's such an important thing for this game, and especially this matchup between these two characters. Uh, you know, none of them have a disrupting projectile, so none of them have a great way to regain stage control or throw them off guard. They've just got to find their footing. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Smash Roll for the whole set here. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, like, Town and City, like, game four or five, because I know Joe loves that stage. But knowing that, I wouldn't even be surprised if he did it. That's probably why Joe didn't go there now. Yeah. Yep. So, like you were saying, Smash Bros. probably going to And both the characters benefit, you know, pretty well on this. Um, ZD's going to be trying to look for those juggle scenarios. Well, um, Seagull Joe's going to be looking to the same, but more with the side B and, like, more trying to catch ZD slipping. Oh, but my goodness. My man's sharp. My man is so sharp right He's now. He's like, uh, who, who beat me in winners? Yeah. Who's that guy? Like, new bracket, who this? <laughs> like, this is not the same play that we saw earlier. Oh. This is ZD yet again. Definitely. Like, uh, we've seen scenarios like this, like at Civil War, you know, T beating Fatality. Yeah, pretty handily, and then getting 3 0 in losers. So it's it just in the reverse direction. So people definitely can make adjustments faster than the other can sometimes. And sometimes, if you have to play someone twice in the same tournament, it definitely favors the person who lost the first time. Yeah, especially like if it's on their mind more. You learn more often than not, you can learn more from losing than right. winning. So if you lose, just more grist for the mill. Absolutely. But to be fair, Seagull's lost, been double eliminated by ZD uh, countless amount of times. Oh, yeah, that happens. Yeah, so, that happens. <laughs> so uh, nothing seems to be benefiting Seagull Joe right now. He is down extreme amount here. 
See if we can make an edge guard here. Okay. All I respect right. it. I respect it. It was it's a good idea, but gosh, CD's going deep with that character. I really like how we side B back right there because um, if J Joe had decided to jump into him, he might have gotten hit back side B, you know, um, E7 position. ZD just jumping over and over in Joe's face saying, what are you going to do about these hops? We're going to game three. ZD is up 2 0. 87% J Dog. That's all Siegel could come up with. Mm -hmm. It's hard we out here we for your boy. We, were, <laughs> we weren't even approaching a, a KO scenario. We were just. 87%, like maybe a rogue forward smash on the ledge could have got him, but nothing like straight up is going to knock you out at 87%. So we're not even like, Siegel's not even struggling to get a KO or anything there. There's Town and City. Yep. So let's see how this kind of thing plays out for him. Because last time, um, pretty much the big thing that helped Joe win last time was that he was edge guarding ZD to the ends of the world back. Forward smashing, forward tilting, forward air. He was not letting that man get off stage. And even with that, the set was like really close. So I feel like that's just what Joe has to do a bit more. He has to be more committal in these edge guards because like he has to do something new. The same old safe play isn't cutting with CD right now. Well, and that's that's what we were talking about earlier. Like maybe he mixed it up in the set, but he ran out of his bag of tricks is empty. And, and his win on ZD could have been more a fluke and less of a. Uh, Something you know, I've made improvements because I found something new in the bag of tricks that I can use once. Maybe he says another stock to make up for or make these adjustments right now, though, before like this lead starts to get really bad right now. Um, all that rage on him should be able to set up for a kill actually with up throw, up air around this percent. So it's something that he has to be mindful of. But yeah. Seagull's DIing down, uh, probably because he was holding down B to spin dash, and ah. that actually led into that guaranteed up air combo. So that was unfortunate, but if he had let go of the spin dash, it was the same thing would have happened anyway. So ZD just reacted to an excellent situation properly. Those young kid reactions, man. I'm telling you, I get so mad, but I'm so happy at the same time to see him like, you know, everyone in here. Oh, no, not quite. I thought he was going to reach him there, but. And Joe just keep on springing up, trying to set up for something at the top of the screen, but not finding anything. He sets up another vortex at fourth or almost killing off the top. Tries a two frame with down smash, but the angle wasn't there. Yeah, I thought he was just going for the spring there. And then that, that way you could set up a better angle for that. But Siegel, I think he's getting a little flustered because he's just kind of feels like he's just pushing buttons. Like the way he was up airing off the top there. I feel like he was trying to like keep on reset the situation, and he finally managed to get that kill right there. And like, even though he's down two games, in this particular one, I feel like the momentum slowly starting to swing a bit more in his favor. Uh, opportunity here, no. Couldn't make anything happen. ZD unable to react to the homing attack. Get a shield whittling down. Now it's Seagull Joe's time to go on the offensive. And now he finds a grab, gets a lot of damage off that Nair. And 44% is going to be even across the board. Who would have thought it'd come to this? A fox versus a hedgehog. This mother Nature, I guess. Yeah, Mother Nature. She called this one. And then whatever Mewtwo is. She doesn't like Mewtwo. Yeah. <laughs> He's artificially created. Uh, and good drop right there, and that's uh, big. Not uh, quite killing him. Almost got yeah, got a pseudo spring ride there. Yeah, I really like that setup from Joe. And ZD not turning around. He's not going to find the off-smashers yet, but it's in the cards. You know that ZD's looking for it. He's up air for real. It just managed to air dodge barely past that. That, that should have worked. Uh, mm, good Siegel, angle. what in the world? If he had recovered like the angle that most boxes would have, he probably would have gotten spiked by that. But Z knowing the angle that he needs, and it. wow at that read. Fish for the grab. That's what happens to you. he fish. He was, he, he, if he got the back throw on the platform, it was going to do the job. So. Fox.